A new constitutional crisis has emerged in Pakistan, which for months has been engulfed in another political crisis that shows no signs of abating. On Tuesday, the government presented a bill in the National Assembly, the lower house of parliament, seeking to limit the powers of the Supreme Court, which, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif alleged, was creating political instability in the country. The legislation, called the Supreme Court Practice and Procedure Act 2023, came after the top court took a suomo to notice of the Election Commission of Pakistan ECP, delaying provincial elections in Punjab, the country's most populous province. A suomotu is when a court itself takes cognizance of a matter, which it deems is in the public interest and commences proceedings on it. The genesis of the clash is the removal of former Prime Minister Imran Khan from power through a parliamentary vote of confidence in April last year. Khan, who heads the PTI party, launched a countrywide campaign to demand immediate national elections, otherwise scheduled later this year. As the government rejected his demand, the 72-year-old cricketing icon turned politician decided to dissolve the provincial assemblies in Punjab and KPK provinces in January. The move was a part of Khan's bid to force the elections, since Pakistan historically holds the provincial and national elections together. However, according to Pakistan's constitution, elections must be held within 90 days of the dissolution of a legislative assembly. But a deadlock emerged when the CP did not announce an election schedule forcing President Urf Albi, a member of Khan's PTA, to unilaterally declare April 9th as the poll date in the two provinces. Three days later, as observers questioned the legality of Alvi's announcement, Chief Justice of Pakistan Umar Adabundual on February 23rd decided to take a suomo to notice of the issue and initiated a hearing on his own. After four judges recused from the original nine-judge bench, constituted to hear the issue, the Supreme Court on March 1st, in a 3-2 verdict, ordered the CP to fulfill its constitutional obligation and announce an election schedule for Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa provinces. Two days later, on March 3rd, the ECP said the vote in Punjab province will be held on April 30th. But the poll body last week withdrew its schedule, saying it was impossible to hold the vote in April due to security and financial concerns. It announced October 8th as the new poll date in Punjab. A furious PTI approached the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court said the CP exceeded its jurisdiction by delaying the Punjab election date and said the Constitution does not give the Election Commission of Pakistan the authority to postpone the elections. The Supreme Court of Pakistan on Tuesday reserved the verdict in the Suomo to notice taken over the election date of KBK and Punjab and announced on Wednesday. In verdict, Supreme Court stated that elections should be held within 90 days and at this point. Justice Actor remarked that the 90-day period starts right after the assembly has been dissolved. The top court's verdict came amid a continuing tussle between the judiciary and the government, which last week passed a new law to curtail the powers of the Supreme Court's Chief Justice. This clash between the judiciary and the government has left the nation divided and in a state of political unrest. We will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest updates. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more news from around the world.